Revalidation is a concept where the loader function of a route gets re-triggered when we submit the form. By default, React Router will re-trigger the loader function, in other words, revalidate the component under a few conditions. And if we look at the documentation here, this few dot points simply outlines the condition where the component will be revalidated. Essentially, when the action function is called after a form submission or when a URL is changed. If you find this confusing, don't worry. Let's look at revalidation in action. No pun intended. Now we're inside the user details page, and currently this route has a loader. And as I mentioned earlier, as we submit a form, React Router will revalidate the route. In other words, call the loader function. So that means when we call the submit function on the fetcher object, it will trigger the revalidation and therefore running the loader function. Let's go to the browser and test our theory. I'll refresh the page. Initially, the loader function runs when a route was loaded. However, after two seconds, we run the submit method on the fetcher object and therefore triggering revalidation. And we can see our console log is printing out loader loading once again. While revalidation is triggered by React Router automatically behind the scene, sometimes we do need the power to trigger it manually. And to do that, we need to call another hook called use revalidator. Let me show you how it works. First of all, we will call the use revalidator hook to create a revalidator object. And we'll go ahead and call the revalidate function from the revalidator object inside our set timeout. So in theory, if we go back to the browser now, we should see our loader function get code after two seconds. As you can see inside our browser's console log here. Calling the revalidate function is exactly the same as we call the load function on the fetcher object against the current route. It is pretty rare that we need to call the revalidate function, but this feature is here if you ever need it. The main purpose is to get the page to reload all the data so we will have the latest data in the UI. Now, there are instances where we only want to revalidate under a certain condition. If you want to define a condition on when to revalidate the page, we can simply define a should revalidate property inside the route object. Let's go back to the main JSX file and we will add a new property called should revalidate, which is a function. And the function will set an argument that contains all sorts of information that might be useful for us. I'll console log it out for us to see what's inside it. And this function should return us a boolean that determines whether we should revalidate the current route or not. I will return false for now and let's see what will happen. And remember, we are triggering the revalidate function inside our user details page after two seconds upon the page is rendered. And we're returning false inside the should revalidate function. So in theory, our loader function will not be triggered for a second time after two seconds. All right, let's refresh our page. And after two seconds, we only see the ask argument gets printed out inside the console and the loader function was not triggered because the should revalidate function is returning false. And now let's take a look at what's inside the argument of the should revalidate function. It is an object that contains the URL information and also the return result of the action function of the current route which is nice. And that means we can control whether to recall the loader function depending on what the action function is returning us. If the action function has failed, we might not want to call the loader function in the current route. I would suggest you to take a quick look at the documentation to find out more about the revalidator. All right, key takeaways for this lesson. Revalidation is the notion of re-triggering the loader function of the current route to get a fresh data set for the current page. Upon submitting or changing the current route's URL parameter, React Router will automatically revalidate the route. We can manually revalidate the route by calling the revalidate function on the revalidator object. That's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next lesson. If you would like to see more content, consider supporting us by becoming a member at my website, Acadia.io. It is similar to Patreon, but in return, you get a lot of premium tutorials and lessons. If you can't become a member, that's totally fine. We are just happy that you are here. We spend a lot of time and energy to produce high quality videos for you. 
feel free to check out our other videos on YouTube. And if you can leave a thumbs up, you will really make my day. If you subscribe, I will jump for joy and I'll make more videos for you. Thanks for your support and I'll see you next time.